channel I'm Arpita Karwa and today we are celebrating two great occasions. The first one is of course the International Valentine's Day and the second one is the one year anniversary of ArpitaKarwa.com. Uh, last year on the same day we began this platform ArpitaKarwa.com. We launched the web website, the YouTube channel and my entire team was extremely excited like this was my dream project i always had this thing in my mind that i wanted to teach literature to masses and with the grace of almighty god finally i was able to devise this platform and i was able to begin this beautiful journey of literature and the reason why i chose 14 february was because valentine's day is a beautiful day you know it's a day when we celebrate love and I was always a person who was in love with literature. So this was a day when both these things came together, love, life, literature, all of them came together. And of course, my love for teaching. So I thought that why not this day? So I chose this day. We, you know, started this platform and this year has been fabulous. You guys are incredible. Like I never expected this wonderful response from you guys and i am not a very social person but i'm telling you guys that the interactions i had with my students in past one year the youtube comments the love affection you guys have shown me i have become a very social person after that i've been sharing my life with my students we've been interacting talking about philosophical ideas erotic love notions of platonic love and what not and it has been a wonderful wonderful experience so thank you so much from the core of my heart i would like to appreciate each and every one who has supported me in this journey and made it what it is today i love you all and i really wish that this platform goes on like this forever we keep on spreading love happiness literature to masses and we grow as a person so in this video i'm going to share three life lessons which i learned in the past one year because for the first time i was on youtube i was talking to people i was interacting with this audience from all over india from kashmir to kanyakumari and there are so many things which i've learned in the past year so i just thought of making this video a bit more personal talking about my life my experiences in the past one year so that you can know me better as a person because i've always avoided to share my social life with everybody but i think today is that special day when i have to break that boundary and just be myself in front of you so before I move forward and talk about the three life lessons which I learned in the past one year, there's a short note for you. Towards the end of the video, there's a big surprise waiting for you guys and that's another dream project that I'm going to talk about and it is going to be breathtaking. So just hold your breath uh, till the end of the video because there's something really wonderful coming your way. So now we're going to talk about the three life lessons I learned past year. Uh, the first one is the most important for me because I have been a very serious and a sincere person before this arpitakarva.com came in my life. Uh, and, the, and this platform and you guys have actually taught me that life is about celebrating every moment. So that's the first lesson I've realized. As I've already mentioned in a lot of my videos that I am a perfectionist and you know the negative part about being a perfectionist is that perfection is unattainable and that is the reason why being a perfectionist is very exhausting at times because you tend to do the thing again and again and again and again and you never you you never get it done because every time you'll find that there's something else you can do to make it better be it youtube videos be it my audio lectures i've been uh, you know working hard towards making each and everything as perfect as i can make but at the same time when i was working with my entire team my youtube creators then there were these video editors i had my back office team and when you, we used to celebrate these small small moments when we reached 100 uh, subscribers then 1000 subscribers then when we reached um, 
a milestone where a lot of students were interacting with us on a regular basis. Then at times when there were those moments of celebration when net result came out and so many students passed exam and they were, you know, exchanging uh, greetings with us and they were thanking us from the core of their heart. So all these small, small moments of celebration it actually made me realize this beautiful thing that life is actually about celebrating all these small things. We sometimes get so engrossed in our work, in our daily routine, that we forget that whatever we are doing, we are actually doing so that we can be happy. And that happiness somewhere fades away because I'm, I'm a very sincere, focused girl. And I like uh, myself to be in a room where I have books, I keep on studying, I make videos, I make audios, and that is how it goes. But when I used to come out of my office and meet people, meet my team members, and they used to tell me that, see, this is a beautiful comment we received, and this is how people are appreciating your work. And then they made a point that, Arpita, today we are going to cut a cake and we are going to celebrate this occasion. And I'm telling you guys, I actually learned this thing because of you, that life is about celebrating those small, small moments, those small occasions, those small um, appreciations that we get on a regular basis. So thank you so much for making me realize that life is about celebrating each moment. The next beautiful life lesson which I learned uh, last year is that comparing yourself to others take all the joy away. Now, uh, when I first stepped in this world of YouTube, there were so many YouTubers I've been always listening to. There was Prasit Tapoli, there was Bowen Baum, there were so many other people I've been always, uh, you know, uh, watching and uh, reading their reviews and interviews. And then when I entered in this sphere, I felt as if every time I was making a video, I had this comparison going between my work and the work of these leaders, the ones who have 5 million, 10 million subscribers. And then I realized gradually that it is taking that love away. Okay, somewhere when I'm shooting a video, that comparison thing is not making me uh, enjoy the present moment of shooting a video. And then gradually I learned the fact that, you know, we all are on a different journey. We all are made in a very unique manner by the God. And He wants that each of us should fulfill their life purpose. Okay, we all are different, entirely different. Our journey are different. And that is the reason why what we tend to do and how we do it is very different from the other people. Two people shooting the same YouTube video on the same topic will be very different because we both have different ideas and different way of speaking and different purpose of life. So then I realized that it's no point comparing myself to others. I always have this high expectations for myself. And then I realized that it's good to compare yourself with what you have done in the past few days. So it's comparing your previous uh, self to the present self. And one day I just randomly, you know, uh, found this quote which I still find very apt in this situation that don't compare sun and moon. There's no comparison between sun and moon because they both shine when their time is. So it's about loving your life, doing the best you can do and enjoying each and every moment. There's no point comparing yourself to the other, feeling as if the other person is better than you are. It's about making yourself a better version every day. Third and the most important life lesson which I have learned in the past one year is that criticism is inevitable. When I started this journey of YouTube, there's this uh, counseling team I was always associated with and there was this beautiful teacher who used to tell me one thing that you're entering into a world where your work is out in the open. People are going to say some really bad things about you but you just need to remember one thing be authentic to yourself keep working make yourself better each day and don't worry about what others are saying because there's only one way you can avoid criticism be nothing do nothing and say nothing so if you're actually doing anything there would be millions who would be supporting you but at the same time there would be some uh, people who would always be pulling you down, who will always be telling what is bad in your work. And these are not the ones who are giving you constructive criticism. They're just the ones who hate you for no reason. Or maybe they have their own reasons. But this one-year journey, I actually 
applied whatever she told me, my mentor told me. And I've seen that I have become really a better version of myself and I've become a, a very strong person who now takes all criticism and appreciation in the same way. And this is what all the scriptures, the Indian mythology says that, you know, even if it's good, even if it's bad, you should remain the same. The flattery should not take you to the top of the hill or nor the uh, hatred should pull you down. That is how life should be lived. You just need to do your best. Whatever is coming in your way, embrace it. So I think that, you know, this one year journey, I've experienced a lot of things and it has made me a better person. I have actually learned so many things. I've learned a lot about literature. I've learned a lot about life in general. And because of all these things, I thought of starting a platform wherein I can share all these things with all my wonderful viewers. So this is the big surprise I was talking about and the big surprise is counselingthost.com. So if you guys are in contact with me through social media, you would like the social media pages of arpitakarva.com. You might have seen that uh, quite often we were sharing counseling posters. We were sharing posters about the fact that if you're facing any issue in your life, relationship, exam anxiety, or anything related to any mental disorder or maybe some tension or family issues, you're free to talk to our counselors. Okay, because when I was interacting with all my students in the past one year, I realized that there were so many things because of which they were disturbed and they were not able to focus on the exam preparation. So I thought of running this uh, free counseling service for all my students wherein they can uh, talk to our counselors and they can discuss their life issues, get solution and then declutter their life. And I was amazed to see the beautiful response. There were so many students appreciating this initiative of mine. So I thought of making it even bigger and we finally started our entire platform, which is called counselingthose.com. Apart from that, I've hired an entire team of counsellors who are going to assist people who are facing any kind of problem in their life and they're going to help them out, talk to them, make them find a solution and make their life better. Apart from that, I'm also very proud to announce that I'm starting another YouTube channel which is also called Counseling Those. And in this channel, I'm going to upload videos every week talking about how to make your life better in every aspect, be it health, be it physical aspect, be it emotional aspect, be it spiritual aspect, and how to, uh, you know, take the tension and stress from your life because, uh, you know, literature is something which actually teaches you so much. And the beauty about these literary works is that when you read these works and you apply it in your life, you find that your life changes drastically. So I thought of making a channel in which I can share my life lessons with you guys because this channel that I'm currently running, it is specifically for UGC net students and I want that all the literature lovers or all the lovers who actually want to talk about life, who want to make themselves better, can subscribe me, join me on the other channel where we are going to talk about life, we are going to see how we can create a beautiful life and in turn create a beautiful world. So I would like you to subscribe to our new channel, counselingthose.com and if you have any problems, any doubts in your life, you want an expert advice, we've got a team of counsellors. You can contact them. The number is displayed on the screen. Apart from that, you can even visit our website, counsellingthose.com. And uh, the tagline of our website is, do you deserve to be happy? So we'll make all the efforts so that you can become happy and you can make your life happy. Another important thing that I would like to add here is that since it's the students of arpitakarva.com who inspired me to develop this platform, I'm extremely proud to announce that counseling those will remain free for all the students of arpitakarva.com and we are not going to charge ever from them uh, because I know that it is 
because of you guys that I was able to start this project and as a giveaway, it's a small token of love from my side that we are never going to charge anything from you. Uh, I'm really, really happy to begin this another YouTube channel, Counseling Those, in which I'm going to talk about how to uh, become a productive person. I'm going to share some success tips and I'm telling you that whatever literature has taught me all these years, I'm going to share all those life lessons with you on the new channel. So I invite you to subscribe to the new channel so that we can start our own community there and we can start growing and becoming a successful person every day. So that's it for this video lecture. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have given me in the past one year and I'm telling you that the journey ahead is going to be more beautiful. So that's it. We are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning. Keep loving literature. Stay tuned to arpitakarabhar.com